Hello! For this crocheted purse tutorial, we will be using as our tools a pair of scissors, a 4.50 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and we also have some beads. Make sure that your tapestry needle fits through the hole of your bead. We will be using this to attach onto our yarn. The colors that I am using Red Heart, Gumdrop, and the color Cherry. Patton's Can Canadiana in the color Leapfrog. Red Heart. Super Saver in the color Rogue and Red Heart Super Saver in the color Dark Orchid. As part of our closure, we're going to be using a larger bead of the same color from the initial beads. You can also use a button or any other kind of decorative closure stopping point. The last color we will be using is Red Heart Super Saver in the color Buff Fleck. This will be the outside of the purse as well as the handle and the middle section. Alright, let's begin. To begin our tutorial, we want to have a small tail used for weaving in for later. Because we will be doing the magic circle, we want to make sure that the circle stays tight. So to begin, let's place it between our two fingers, wrap it around, until you have an X. Go under, Pull the yarn through and then make like a chain stitch. To me it seems cumbersome, but this is really an easy way to start the crochet and then tighten the little um, chain stitch here at the magic circle. We're going to chain three, two, three, this will count as our first double crochet. To continue on, we're going to make another, we're going to do four double crochets, but let's start with the first one. Yarn over, take your hook, go through the circle, pull it back up, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through another two loops on the hook. That is our double crochet, and we will be using that stitch throughout the whole making of our little purse here. So let's do that four more times, or three more times. Here we got one as our chain, and two. So yarn over through the hole, the circle, <laughs> pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Okay, so we have one, two, three. I'm going to go a little quicker now, and, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Draw up a loop, take your hook out of the loop. At the top of your chain three, you can count them right here, one, two, three. Go ahead and place your hook into the middle of the chain. Take your loop, tighten it up to your hook, and then pull it through. Chain one, two, and three. And here we have our little popcorn stitch here. Let's do it again. Yarn over. This time we will be making five double crochets because the chain stitch was used 
to come up. We're not coming up, we're already at the level that we want to be at. So there's two, three, four, and five. Okay, pull up your loop. Go back to your first of the five, and on this, here's your post, so here's your little chain. Go through that chain, then grab your loop and tighten it up, and then pull it through. And then chain three times. One, two, three. We have two, we need a total of four. I'm going to go a little bit faster. So we have one, remember we need five to make our little popcorn stitch, two, three, four, and five. Okay, remember to pull up a loop, go back to the first one, and then that little chain stitch there, tighten your loop, pull it through, chain three. Okay, we're going to do it one more time and that'll complete our row. Five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Pull up your loop, take your hook and insert into that first chain above the double crochet, tighten it, pull it through. This time we're going to chain two. Mostly you would chain three, but I have found that when you chain the additional and then slip stitch, sometimes it makes, it adds additional uh, distance that we want. So at the end we have four popcorns. Let's tighten this up. Remember this will be used to weave in our back here, but we'll do that in a little bit. So after you've chained your two, come on back behind here, and we're going to go ahead and pick up right there behind that popcorn. Make sure you grab two stitches, and then we're doing a slip stitch. Okay, and that completes row one. We're going to chain three to move on up to the next one. And this is what we have so far. This row we're going to be doing the same thing. As you remember when we first started the very first one here, we started with a chain three and did four double crochets. So in this small space, we're going to go ahead and place four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Pull up your loop and into the first chain three, insert your hook. Now this row, we're going to be making some more popcorns, but we're going to be doing two at each of the chain three openings. So chain three after your popcorn, and then if you separate them, remember the chain three, we're going to place two popcorns in there. Yarn over. Now we're going to do five double crochets. There's three, 
four, and five. Pull up a loop, back to the first one, and pull it through, and chain three. And then we're going to do another popcorn in the same chain three space. Two, three, four, five double crochets, pull up your loop into that first space, the chain, go back into your loop, tighten it up, and chain three. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now on to the next chain three, you're going to place two popcorns, two popcorns, and then in the last one, I'll meet you there. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back with you. So how did you do? Okay, remember you had your chain threes between your popcorns. I chain three, and I'm ready to do my last one. The first one of, on the chain three space has one. That was our beginning. Now we're going to add one more. Remember to do the five double crochets. There's construction work going on on my street, so that's why you hear the noise if you hear it. One, two, three, four, five, pull up a loop. Okay, remember we're going to chain two, and then we're going to connect to that first popcorn. Let's see if we can get a couple of stitches here. Okay, Mm. There we go. And then chain three. One, two, three. So, this row, we should have two, four, six, eight. Let's move on to the next row. The same as we did once before on this row we just completed. We're going to pull this over and four double crochets. Pull up your loop. <clears throat> Yarn in. Pull it through. Oops, I snagged. Chain three. Okay, just as we had done before, we have two popcorns in each chain space, and I will meet you here. I have gone all the way around, and I am on the last one. I'm going to place the five in here. This will be the last row of this color and we will be moving on to our next color. So I have four. Here's our last one for five. <clears throat> I hope your day is going well. I'm enjoying the sunshine and the birds singing. Whoops, I went three. Remember, chain two because your slip stitch will count as a chain as well. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the back here. Oops. Okay. Pull it through. I have my scissors. Leave yourself a little tail. And finish it off. Okay. This is what we have so far. my tapestry needle here. We're going to go to the tail in the magic circle. 
Now you see how my tail is coming out. So that means it's going this way. That means I want to go that way too. Go through as many of these back stitches that you can. I think that first one made it a little harder for me to get into. And you can go around it a couple of times and then just cut it because it's not going to go nowhere. I went one time around. Go ahead and go around two more times and then I'll show you how to weave this one in. To weave this last one in, I go ahead and I find the, the inside of the popcorn stitch to be the best. So I'm going to come around and go here to my popcorn and I'm going to go over to the second one. Okay, now to start weaving it in so that I go back, go over a couple of them. Okay, and then go over the couple that you came out and that'll hold it right in place. And this is what we have. Let's, we're going to be moving on to our green next. And then we'll add on. Alright, to begin, we're going to place a slip knot on our hook. any one of our chain three spaces we're going to start with a standing double crochet so you just want to place your finger on the slip knot wrap it around go through the chain three space pull up a loop keep your finger on the slip knot and go through two now with your other hand try to hold that tail and then go through two and that's one double crochet. Okay, we're going to do two more. One and two. We're going to chain six. And what that's going to do is it's going to create um, a working platform for our next row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then through the top, the chain and the top of the double crochet, we're going to place one single crochet. We're going to skip the second, or the, the chain three. We're going to go to the second one and place three double crochets in the chain three space chain two and three more I hope you're having fun and enjoying this as we're making it Let's chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then through those top two, we're going to do like a huge pico. All right. And we're going to continue on. We're going to skip the next chain three and into the second one there. We're going to do the same thing we've just done. One, two, three, 
chain two and three more double crochet. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet into the top two of the double crochet. Okay, so here's what we have. Continue going on all the way around, and I'll meet you to show you how to finish this row right here. To complete our row after our chain six, we're going to skip our next one. And in the one that we have the three double crochets in, we're going to place our final set of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two. And we're going to slip stitch into the first of our double crochet. Okay, so we should have this so far where we have our six chain six loops. That will be for this row we're going to be going into, and our chain two between three double crochets. Let's continue on. I think our tail wants to be part of our work again. <laughs> so we're going to chain one and into the chain six loop. We're going to place six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Did you hear the birds singing? It means spring is coming. <laughs> okay, so we chain three on top of the six double crochets. Now we're going to go through the top two loops of the chain and the top of the double crochet post and we're going to make a single crochet so pull up a loop and then pull through and then on the other side of our chain six we're going to do six more double crochets one two three four five and six. Now if you're like me you'll have a little extra there. Just go ahead and spread them out. Okay? Sometimes I seem to squeeze all my work in one place. <laughs> okay now directly over to our chain two space. We're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. This will be a loop for our next row. And back into the chain two space, one single crochet. Okay, here we are at our chain six loop again. Let's place six double crochets in it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to chain three for our pico at the top. And then through the top two, make a single crochet, and that'll complete our pico. Go ahead and do the six 
double crochets down the other side of the chain six, single crochet in the chain two space, chain five, single crochet, and continue on. And I'll meet you back here. To end our row, I've completed the eighth petal, and we have our chain two spacing right here. We're going to single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and single crochet back into our space here. Okay, now to end this, I'm just in the next stitch, I'm going to place a single or slip stitch and take my scissors and cut it. Okay, then Here's what we should have so far. Okay, so for the back, because this is our purse, I want to tie these two together to make doubly sure that they don't come undone. Okay, and then I'm going to take my needle. And then I'm going to weave them in. And go around one of the petals here. This will be covered by another petal. It slipped out of so make sure you weave it in a couple of times so it doesn't come out. So I went so far, and I'm going to go back, go over a couple of stitches. Okay. And weaving this in as you go along does make it nicer looker, looking. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next step and we're going to be using these chain five loops and we're going to be using the um, colored yarn here. Alright, moving on. I guess you know with this color that means we're going to be making some more popcorn stitches. So we're going to start off with our standing double crochet. Remember to hold your finger on the slip knot that's already on your hook. Come up and there we have one double crochet. I'm going to do the five in total. So there's two, three, four, and five. Drop your loop, go back into the first chain above the double crochet, tighten your loop and pull it through chain three. You're going to want to slide your popcorn over. We're going to make two more on this same chain five space, two, three, four, and five. Pull up a loop into the first, chain three, and here for our last one. One, Two, three, four, and five. Pull up your loop, pick up your first chain of the first, and then three double or three chain stitches. Now we're going to be going behind our green petal right here. 
So fold it over. Well, first, go ahead and separate it where the pico is at. The pico separates the six from the six. Okay, you see our chain right there? We're going to crochet onto that chain. Take your hook, go between the stitches. Oops, my yarn is in the way. Take the hook and go into the center. Then pick up our yarn and make a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Okay, you'll see that on the chain, but once it comes back together, you won't be able to see it again. Now we're going to go back, stay behind the pedal here, and on to the next chain five loop. We're going to add our five double crochet popcorn stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Draw up a loop into that first chain of the double crochet, chain three. Okay, we're going to be doing this all the way around. So when you complete your third popcorn, chain three, separate the petal where your pico's at, fold it down, do a single crochet onto the chain six that we did, chain three, and into the next chain five loop, make your three picots, or three popcorns. I keep saying picots and I don't know why. I guess because they all begin with a P. And then chain three. And I will meet you here to finish this row. After our last set of three popcorns, you do your chain three, separate your petals, place in your single crochet, chain three, and then into the first popcorn, place a slip stitch. And then we're going to cut our yarn and finish off. Okay, so this is what you should have. Our green petals come in between our popcorns. And if your popcorns are popping up or something like that, we're going to be tacking them down in the next row. All right, and our next color is going to be the dark orchid or purple. Oh, before we move on, don't forget to weave in your ends, and you can go right here behind the section of the popcorns. I have placed a slip knot on my hook. Now at any popcorn, I am right-handed, so I will go on the right-hand side of the three popcorn here. Go ahead and place a single crochet. Now we're going to begin. So in the first chain three space, we're going to place a single crochet. A half double crochet, which means you will wrap it over, go through the circle, come out, you have three loops on the hook, and pull through all three. Our next stitch will be our double crochet, so we'll do two of those. The next stitch is the half double crochet again. Remember we pull up, just like we're doing a double crochet, but we're going to go through all three of the loops on the hook. And then the last one is our single crochet. 
So it gives us a nice little curve. Okay, now go directly into the next chain 3 space. And we're going to repeat what we just did. We did our single crochet. Now we're going to do our half double crochet. We're going to do two double crochets. Our half double crochet through all three and our single crochet. So here we have like a little fan. Now on to our chain three just before the petal. We're going to single crochet in there. Chain three, one, two, three. Now this is where we're going to be holding down our green petal. So take your petal and flip it over and at the bottom of your pico you can see there's two loops right there from, made from the single crochet. You want to pick up those two loops like so and do a single crochet. So pull up a loop and single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Okay, now you can see how it's holding on to the back of that um, petal there. And then we're gonna, here's the back side of the chain three on the other side of that petal, place another single crochet. We have now completed one repeat single crochet, the petal here, the petal here, single crochet, chain three, the single crochet into the back of the pico, chain three, and single crochet. We're going to do that one more time, okay? And this will be done all the way around. So we have our single crochet here, now into the chain three space. We're going to do one single crochet, half double crochet, two double crochets, one, two, half double crochet, and the last one is our single crochet. Okay? So into our next chain three space, the next one over, we do the same thing, single crochet, half double crochet, two sing uh, double crochets, almost had my thoughts going a little too fast there, <laughs> half double crochet, and a single crochet. Okay, so here we are towards the green petal. So after that next popcorn, we're going to place our single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Okay, now flipping your green petal down, remember to find those two little pieces of the back side of that single crochet and then do a single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Okay. And then just before we start our next three, remember we do one more single crochet. We place it close Okay, so this is what we're going to have this row. We're going to have these little extended flowers out. These are going to be used in another row. And then we have part of that holding down this one so it'll lay out flat. Okay, so continue what we just did as our repeat all the way around. 
and I'll meet you at the end. All right, after the last pico got its single crochet, we're going to chain two, and then into the first single crochet, we're going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to cut our yarn and finish off. Okay, and as before, I go ahead and place a slip knot with the last two uh, with the yarn that I have and then I will weave them in. This will help keep it from coming undone um, because of the wear that the purse might be getting. So this is what we have so far. Uh, hang on, let me put some color under the purple. Okay, I think this shows up a little bit better. You'll notice that we have our green where it is now secure in its location. We have our popcorns all the way around and our popcorn in the middle. We have our little like petals that go outside of our popcorn. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to our next step and we're going to be using the Rogue, which is a berry pink reddish color, and we will start here in the center, and we will add beads as well. As you see here, I have the eight beads that I'm going to be using, and with my yarn, I'm going to thread my tapestry needle. I fold it over and work the folded ends of the yarn into this thing. Now this particular tapestry needle has a smaller opening than the ones I usually use, but it's because it will fit my beads. So, I'm going to come in closer for you. So, go ahead and string all of your beads. Now, these particular ones that I got are square looking. I also have some round ones that I could have used. Any shape, if you want to use a star, if you want to use a heart, if you want to use pony beads, any bead is fine. I'm just adding this for the decoration that I choose for my particular design. So after you have these on, I'm going to slide them down and remove the needle. And the first thing we're going to do is have us a little tail and place our slip knot on our hook and we're going to get ready to start crocheting. Okay, let's move on to our second set of petals. <clears throat> I've already slid my beads back. Let's go ahead and place a slip knot on our hook. Okay, and we're going to go back to our circle here with all our popcorns. You'll notice that in our popcorns we have green on one set of chain threes and nothing. Okay, so we're going to pick up where it's nothing. We're going to place a single crochet. We have one. Let's place another one. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going back to our circle, following it around, 
we want to skip the green and in the next chain three space we're going to place three single crochets one two three So this is what we're going to have. Continue on. Chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the green. And in the next chain three, three single crochets. Continue around until you get to this space right here and I will meet you there. At the end of our row we have our chain seven. We're going to place one single crochet where the other two are. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first one. And this is what we have so far. We have loops that we will put more petals on. So, oh, before we move on, let's take our tail and we're going to go through the back hole here and we'll weave that in labor, but it's out of our way. So, let's chain one. And onto our chain seven, we're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One. Okay, now let's grab a bead. We only need one. So this is how far we are right now. I brought my white cord board back out so that you can see. So now we're going to pick up two loops. Well, let me go back. We have the three popcorns, so in the center popcorn we're going to pick up two loops from the double crochet and we're going to have our bead back here. We're going to bring the yarn through the two loops and then we're going to bring it through the loop that was still on our hook of our, of our uh, pinkish color here and then we're going to chain one. And this will make it so our bead will lay flat. Okay. And then we'll go directly into our double crochets. Don't worry if you didn't get it the first time. I'm going to show you again. So let's do our six double crochets. It's three. Four. five and six. Okay, so this is what we have. We have our little bead at the top with our petal coming down. <clears throat> so down here where we have our three single crochets, you want to pick up the center one. So skip the first one and in the center one single crochet. Okay, and now we're going to do our six double crochets again. One, two, three, four, Sorry about this, my yarn. The 
decided to leave me a mess. I'll be right back. And sometimes even in filming we have mishaps. <laughs> so here's four. Let's go number five. And one more will make six. Okay, so here we're going to do where we're going to add our bead again. Of course, all my beads want to come in and join us all at the same time, but we only need one. So slide them down. Okay, at the end of your six double crochets, chain one. Now we're going to go to the three popcorns that are directly above where we're going. I'm going to skip the first one, and in the second one, we're going to pick up a couple of stitches here. Okay, your bead and your yarn is on the right side because I'm right handed. Place your bead above your hook, and then bring the yarn through the two on that from the stitch and let's complete our slip stitch and then chain one. You'll see how our beads sit in there nice and flat. Okay, And then we'll do the six double crochets again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are my beads. They're welcoming me again. <laughs> okay, so we did our six. Skip the first single crochet. In the second single crochet, place a single crochet. Okay. And this will be our repeat. Of course, after we're finished with this row, we'll straighten everything out. But this is what we have so far. So continue around with the six double crochets, chain one, pick up the two, complete your slip stitch, chain one, and six double crochets, and the single crochet. And I will meet you when we finish this row right here. To complete our row at the end here, we want to slip stitch into that, that center single crochet, which is the same one as our slip stitch. So here we go. Now we're going to finish off. I'm going to pull the red behind so that I can weave it in the back as well. And here is what we have so far. I guess because of the angle of my camera. Okay, well we're not finished yet. We still got a little bit more to do. We got a couple of more rows. Our next color is going to be our buff. So get ready and we'll move on. Okay, so before we begin, I would like for you to turn your, your circle over to the back side. And you'll notice how we have our various colors and some places for chain stitches and, and other things. So, what we are going to do is you see this one is where the three popcorn stitches is on the back side. We're going to start with one of those. And we're going to place a single crochet here. And we're going to chain two and place a single crochet on the other side. And this will be the chain five from when we did the green row. Okay, so let me get my hook set up and we'll start there. Alright, so here we are under that right here, the same chain that the popcorns are on. 
We're going to place a single crochet right there. Chain two. And then directly on the other side. place another single crochet. So we just have that little chain two. Okay, now let's chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like the little fleck in this. It gives it a little dimension, a little color. Okay, so we're going to skip over this green petal and right here is where our three popcorns are at on the other side we're going to place a single crochet in that chain that we place those popcorns on whoops I'm on the wrong side there we go and chain two one Two. This will be our repeat around, and here we are picking up that chain from the other side. Okay, and then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, go over the green, and then pick up that chain from our popcorn. So continue that around. Okay, notice how we're going clockwise, but we're, our work is up here while we're working down here. Okay, so keep on going, and I'll meet you back here. After you have gone all the way around, we want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to move on to our next step. So, continuing on, let's chain three. One, two, three. And that will count as one double crochet. We're chaining one for the space between it. And then we're going to do one double crochet so that we have our V stitch here. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And in our chain eight space, we want to do one single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And in our chain two space, one, double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Okay, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet on the chain eight, chain four, one, two, three, four, and in the chain two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I will meet you when you get back right here. Alright, continuing on, let's go ahead and add our chain four that we did here. We did three and one at the top of that chain three. Go ahead and insert your hook and slip stitch. And chain three and then chain one for the, the V stitch and one double crochet. Chain two in this chain four space we're going to do one single crochet 
chain four, two, three, four, skip that, single crochet, and in the next chain four space, we're going to do a single crochet. Chain two, and in our V stitch where our chain one is at, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And this is what we have. To continue, this is our repeat, chain two, and into our chain four space, single crochet, chain four, two, three, four, skip the single crochet, and in the next chain four space, single crochet, chain two, and here we are at our V stitch again. All right, so continue this all the way around. Chain two, single crochet, chain four, skip the bottom, that single crochet in the previous row, single crochet on the chain four, chain two, and then the, the V stitch. And I will meet you back here. On to our next row. Let's finish this one first. We have chain two, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Okay, so now this starts our new row. We're going to chain four, and as before, it counts as the double crochet and chain one. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to double crochet into our V stitch, chain one. We're going to skip the chain two, and in this chain four, we're going to bring it closer. Now, if you use the same color yarn that I did, the purple is what we're going to be attaching to the chain four. Okay, so we're going to be doing this. This will make it so that the that the the petal and the the backing is all in one piece. So we're going to place our hook. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to place our hook through mine is the purple and the chain four of the beige. Okay, so we've got one double crochet here. We're going to do four before we hit that single crochet. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, now on the other side, my yarn's getting caught up in my lap. <laughs> On the other side, we want to do the purple again and still in that same chain four space. We're going to do four more double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now if you need to s spread them out a little bit, do that. Make them all all together there. And that's what we will have. Okay? Chain one. Lift the purple forward. We're going to go to the V stitch here and we're going to place a double crochet. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain one and we're going to do the same thing to the next one. Here we have, we skip our chain two, we have our chain four, and we're going to find the purple that's attached to the green, and we're going to bring the purple and the, the buff together. Okay, so we have our chain one, and we're going to do four 
double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then the other side, you want to line them up and we'll do four more. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and at the end of this row, chain one. Or at the end of this set, chain one. Okay, bring the purple down in front of you. And here we got our V-stitch. This we're going to continue around till we get to where we started at, right here, and I'll meet you there. I hope you're enjoying this. This is coming along pretty nicely. At the end of our row, we're going to go up, count up to the top of that chain three, and do our slip stitch. Okay, and we're going to slip stitch into the center there and we're going to chain two. One, two. Okay, this is our final round so this will be the outside of our purse circle. So, let's, uh, let's get started on it. We're going to start with a double crochet And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And at the top of the double crochet and the chain stitch, pick up those two and let's make a single crochet and complete our picot. We're going to move on to our next double crochet from the previous row and do another double crochet and a chain three pico. All right? Continue making what we have just done till you get to the last one, and I'll show you what to do then. After we've completed that last pico, you have your chain one space. We're just going to come right down and make a single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to go right directly into the double crochets of the previous row and start making our double crochets and picots. Chain three picots. Alright, so continue this around, and after we finish this, I will show you what to do next. At the end of our row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain that we turned into a single crochet. And of course, it just doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> okay, so let's complete our slip stitch. And we're going to cut our yarn with a little tail and finish off. This is what we have. This is what we have. Nice scalloped edge with our design in the center. The back has uh, all of our work behind it. Here I need to tie weave in my ends. The next thing we're going to do on this one 
is we're going to go around each one of these so that we can start our side piece here for our, our purse. All right, with the same color as what we had just finished for the outside, we are going to carry on and do back post single crochets. To do a back post single crochet, you go behind the post. A single crochet is also considered a post, regardless of how small it is. And we're going to do just as if we were going to do a single crochet. On our next post right here, we're going to do another back post single crochet. This row that we're placing in will help for build the sides of our purse. So continue on around where we will pick up our double crochets from our previous row and place a back post single crochet on it. And this is what it looks like in the front. It has these little loops, but it's okay. It's the same color yarn and it really will blend in nicely. Okay, so keep going. Do not make your single crochets tight. and I will meet you when we get back here. So go all the way around. All right, now that we've made our single crochets all the way around, we're going to slip stitch into that first one and chain two. One, two. Okay, now, since this is going to be on the outside of our bag, we're going to turn our work around so that the pretty side is facing us, but we're folding it down. Okay? Now, in this first one, we're going to skip it. Sorry, I got out of camera range again. We're going to skip this one because we just placed the chain two in here. In the second one, we're going to place a double crochet. And we're going to double crochet all the way around in each one of these single crochets. This will start to build out the side that we're going to be using here. Continue all the way around and when we get to this last one we're going to slip stitch and I'll show you what to do next. After you've covered all of the single crochets we're going to slip stitch up here into the top and then we're going to cut our yarn. Now to let you know that you are halfway there, everything that we've done so far including the sides here you need to make one more time. This is going to make our little purse reversible and you will enjoy having that so you don't have to say, oh, I wish I had the other side looking just as nice. So make another one of these all the way up to the finished part here. That means you'll have to start the video all over again. And I will place in the video where we will pick up to continue on and finish. After you make the second one, we are almost done probably have another 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes into it. We're going to make a braided handle and then we're going to join the two ends here together with a single crochet. So I'll see you when you have your second one completed. Here you can see that I have created two separate pieces. Both of them have completed at the um, ending point that I pointed out in the video. Thank you. 
So let's join our two pieces. Place a slip knot on your hook. And put the top with the two wrong sides together. And we're just going to grab the top chain look from both. We're going to do a single crochet. Into the next stitch and the next stitch of the other side, place another single crochet. Our single crochet will go around and we will stop leaving an opening. Make sure that you don't skip a stitch and make sure that you don't duplicate, which means put two single crochets in one stitch. So continue this around. Let me show you. We're going to leave an opening of approximately 20 double crochets. So where you placed your first one, count back 20. And that's where we will stop at. All right, I have my 20 double crochets that I have not crocheted with a single crochet. So here I am at the last one and I am going to finish off this. We are almost done with our purse. We need to place a, a handle on it. Of course we need to weave in both of our loose ends. But so far you can see we have this nice little purse the reason why I chose for this was because when I made the sample one, I had another row of double crochets here and it just stretched too much. So I thought having the single crochet here would add some strength and it does. Okay, so we are getting to the point of almost being finished with our yarn, we're going to be making a braided handle. Let's make the strap for our purse here. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you take about 10 or 15 feet and what you'll do is at the end you'll fold it back as you come along the other end, fold it again do it till you have six strands. When you've done all that, I'll show you what's next to do. You know, originally I was going to plan on doing just a simple braid, but I think because we've done so much work on this, let's just crochet a chain. <laughs> so, I got a larger hook. Um, it says a ten and a half or a K, which I'm thinking it's probably about a uh, seven or eight millimeter. Let's go ahead and make a slip knot and pull it through. I'm going to make this kind of loose. So we're just going to pull it over, just a simple chain. Take your time as you go. Oops, try to make sure you get every strand and make all the chains about the same length. When you get to the end, I'll meet you there. I chose to make mine short. So when you get to the last chain you just pull everything through and then tighten that up. Here we're going to cut the folds. And 
next we'll place it on our bag. So if you pull up your bag and count down five stitches, we're going to place three of the ends on one side of the single crochet and three on the other. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go right here. I'm going to place three of them here. I should use my hook to pull it through, but it's going through just fine. And make sure that your braid is showing. And three here for the other side. That was a little backwards, but we got it in there. Okay, and then on our inside, we can go ahead and tie a good solid square knot. Okay, after you do that, weave in your ends. I'm just going to show you that for right now. Then, as you place your strap to the other side, make sure you follow it so that it will go over to the other side being straight. Pull out three strands, count down five double crochets, and then place your, your strands to the inside of the bag and repeat that again. The last thing that we're going to do after we um, sew this on, oops I forgot to cut that one, is we still have the closure which is our little button that's going to be going on there. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Go ahead and finish your strap and we'll sew the button on in just a minute. Alright, we know that we have 20 stitches here, so we're going to count over 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to place my needle right here. And I'm going to thread my needle. What I'm planning on doing is just making it so that the button stays loose. Oops, I grabbed the wrong needle. Hang on. I have two needles. One's a very large one and one's the small one. Anyway, <laughs> so let's double our thread or our yarn I should say and we're going to put it through the top where the chain is at and bring it through we're going to put on our little button closure and we're going to go through this again But what you what you need to do is make it so that there, the yarn has a little bit of extra because we're not doing a chain stitch here. It's going to be so that you can pull it through and it will fit through your double crochet. And that will give you your closure. Okay? Since I've stretched it back out, let's tighten it back up. So go around this a couple of times, and when you stop, stop with the inside of the chain stitch. Okay, tie a good square knot and weave in your ends. 
closed up. I really hope you enjoyed making this little purse with me. It was fun. I hope you make one and share it with me. I'd love to see what you created and what colors you have used. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.